So today I'm basically going to be talking about the current state of 2K21 on next gen. So the two things I've noticed, or the main thing I've noticed so far, obviously Rickerville um, had so much fun playing this, this game mode. Um, the game so far to me has been a big W. The build I'm using is slightly tweaked. It's still the you know the power forward build with you know 80 plus badges, but I tweaked mine slightly just to make sure I have max um, physicals. So I have max strength, max almost max vertical. And as you can see from the gameplay, like the game is fun. I don't know you know people are complaining about dribbling you know you, you can dribble enough bearing in mind this gameplay that you're watching um i only have bronze so basically i have one shooting badge which is basically a bronze deep three that's and you can see from the badges popping up i have like maybe two playmaking badges three playmaking badges so i don't really have that many badges and as you can see you know i lagged over there even from the clip you can see it but so far you know it feels good you know the build feels unstoppable like the whole aspect of the game feels fine the biggest thing for me the jump shot absolutely loving it you know the jump shot i'm using in this video i've actually changed it um and i didn't change it because you know i found a better one i just changed it because i feel like you can shoot efficiently with most jump shots in this game now um so i just i'm using one that's just more of my preferable type but so far like everything about the game feels amazing like once you know your jump shot as you can see you're not going to see any shooting badge pop up because i don't have any um and i've played a rec game after this as well to get making me take a fade i've played a rec game after this as well and it's still pretty much the same thing with no shooting badges once you know your timing down you're going to green it bearing in mind everyone in this game has like you know minimum 82 83 three pointer i think my build has about 84 three pointer right now but like the gameplay so much more fun um i don't know what people are really complaining about um i'm just gonna like let you guys just sort of see a lot of you know how like i'm not gonna edit none of the clips i'm not gonna take anything out i just want you guys to see you know how fun it is to play the game um talking about the build uh, what I've noticed so far, 25 interior defense, in my opinion, maybe because I, I did actually verse a post scorer that I actually lost to. It was a very close game, but I lost to him because he was just doing a post touch. But interior defense feels fine. You know, my build gets 20, and I feel like having Intimidator, you know, so far has proven to be a very, very good badge to have. Uh, so if you're going to play this game and you're worried about having, you know, 25 interior defense, I do think it's fine if you're mainly going to be playing as a center then of course you want to you know make sure you have some some kind of interior defense but i'm going to be using my build predominantly as a power forward build or you know the one build even if i do play the twos with a friend of mine i don't think it's going to be an issue you know i think i can guard the big very very well i haven't really struggled against any big so far and if i contest them they're going to miss the shot so the build feels really good the gameplay feels amazing um I don't know, like I haven't really even walked around the park yet. Uh, this is just another 3v3 gameplay, just to basically just, like I'm not really going to you know, edit none of these videos, I just want you guys to see, is because the key thing is the shooting, this game, I think, I, didn't, I don't think I missed a shot this game, uh, the shooting feels really good, everything about the game, in my opinion so far is a big W, I don't think 2k should change anything. Um, I mean, people getting posterized on a lot. Of, everyone in the game has 90 driving dunk. So you know, if you have a 90 driving dunk and you're in a bad position as a big, you're gonna get dunked on. So people shouldn't really be complaining. This is the 2K, honestly, that we've all been waiting for for a long time. You know, everyone's been wanting to make demigod builds on 2K, and now that people can make demigod builds, then you know, people start complaining. It, you know, you're never gonna be able to win. So far. The build I have, I don't, you know, I say this every year, I might change my mind, but I don't think I'm going to make any other build, simply because I don't think I need to, you know, if I need to guard ball, and, you know, I have 9 to 5 perimeter defense, so I can guard whoever's bringing up the ball quite easily, it's not really an issue, um, I can, you know, play the 4, I can play the 5, I can guard the big, I can guard, you know, ball handlers, and I feel like, over time in the game, my strength would make such a big difference, when I play against like smaller guards uh, but yeah like so far loving it the whole aspect of the game 
feels great. So if you're thinking of, you know, getting this game, I do. Normally, I don't recommend people to get TK, but this year I generally do think, you know, the game is actually worth playing. Um, I feel like everyone's just so much. You must. It's so much more versatile that you know you don't need to run the traditional boring pick and roll every single game anymore. I mean, you can still run it, but I feel like you know if you're doing that now. You're, you're basically just lacking skills in the game. I feel like everyone should be able to ISO on the individual build, depending on what build you make. Um, the build I made, I just I made this build just to have just fun, you know, straight up max badges. Moving on to the physicals or the attributes of the game, which is another big thing that a lot of people are talking about. I mean, if you guys want me to show you how I made my build, I think I have 15, 20, 21, and 24. Uh, so that's 15 finishing, 21 shooting, I believe 20 or 21 shooting, 21 playmaking, and I believe 23 def uh, deep, um, defensive stats. That's what I've got as of right now. Uh, my badges aren't even maxed out. I don't have max shooting badges, and I'm already shooting lights out. So imagine when I have, you know, 19 plus more shooting badges um, on top of this. Like, look at this. It's just straight green light so the good thing about this show is once you know your jump shot that's it you, you don't need anything else you can time it quite easily um and yeah you have a lot more fun so moving on to the attributes a lot of people have been talking about 25 interior defense this year um i do think if you want to make this power forward build um you do not put anything on interior defense i don't think you need to i think you'd be just fine um I mean, if you if you play with a guy that has interior defense or anything, that's even better. But if you're gonna play the twos, I do think the meta of this game sooner or later is gonna be having two of these builds playing twos, because you can switch on the pick and roll if someone's gonna run a pick and roll. You can guard ball, and then when you, once you guys have the ball, it's gonna be so hard to get the ball off you unless you miss a shot. Which, as you can see, once you know your timing, it's gonna be pretty hard to miss a shot. You know, if, if they're gonna play up, you're gonna shoot. If they're gonna play down. If you're gonna play up, you're gonna dunk. If you're gonna play down, you're gonna shoot the ball. So so far, this game been a big, big W. I I think people are gonna start complaining even more just because of how versatile everyone's build is. You know, you don't have such thing like unless you make a role player, which I would not recommend making. You know, you're gonna be having so much more fun on this build um, on this game. Um, attribute wise, I just still wanna to touch up on that very, very quickly. You don't need max interior defense based on my. Um, gameplay so far, I do think even, even if you have max interior defense, you're going to get dunked on regardless anyway, if you're going to get dunked on. Um, still, as you can see earlier in the clip this, this game, I did get a still clean still. I don't think you're going to get, I, I did get an on-ball still as well, but you're not going to be getting that many on-ball still. I'm not the kind of player that spams you know, the reach button anyway, so I don't really care about getting a high still range. If you if want to be a pure lock, then maybe that's a cup, your cup of tea, but then you just miss out on other easy attributes. Um, try to max out your physicals, especially your, you know, not max strength, but try to have high strength. Like, as you can see right there, I just stole the ball with no still rating. So I maxed out my physicals. Um, like I said, if you guys want to show you the build video, I, I can do that. Very, very easy. Uh, I have max strength, max vertical. What else is there? Close shot. Please just forget that. Like, don't even bother. Like, I don't even know what close shot does in this game. I've never used close shot. I've never liked it. So I'm so glad this year I didn't have to use it. Um, but yeah, that's just little clips from literally. This is my first day playing this game. The first couple of hours, it's been good. I will recommend playing the. I know it's very boring and it's very long. Do play the My Career. Go to the G League. Very very long games, by the way. But play it just so you can have a few badges. Because when you play Rookerville. Um, you want to be able to at least you know, get some buckets. You don't want to be a liability on your team. So yeah, so I'll pretty much finish it off with that. I mean, if you're thinking of getting a game, if you haven't got the game yet, the game's super super fun. Um, I do think the six seven meta build it is a godly build, but then they oh, you, you should also make a build that you feel comfortable with. Um, if you're a center, please make sure your center build can shoot. You know, don't limit yourself like any other any other two K build. But yeah, that's about it. So this game. 100% shooting again. Like I had so much fun playing Rookieville. I'm done now. I played one or two games on a wreck. That felt amazing as well. So everything feels good so far. I can't really complain.